Hi everybody, welcome to uh, uh, cooking something. Com com, welcome to com com. <laughs> welcome to the second standing up community comments. What was the first? Uh, the one that we did at the the fight choreography. I think we did one with Tyler right before Sky Vault. Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? Oh, oh yeah, was... we did the one where I was uh, Gordon Freeman. We had to stand up too because I couldn't sit down in that suit. So this is the third standing up comments. For all you Dorm Monster <laughs> trivia fans, ignore that. Nobody will ever ask. Last week's video was Psycho Machia, spelled S Y K O. Courtesy of Allison. And these are the comments. Imbellis says, Hey, Dormaster slash Kyle. <laughs> right, is there fine. a way for y'all to improve the subtitles in the YouTube videos? Meltzer, myself, and a few others do them within hours of publishing, but they often aren't really added to the video until weeks after. Sure, they ha they'll have a few mistakes, but I think that approving subtitles early and fixing them later would allow for those who need them to be able to. What a great Kyle question. I think the, the response here is, don't ask what Door Monster can do for you, because we're lazy. <laughs> False saga. <laughs> so I actually thought that they, they removed the requirement for us to approve them a long time ago, so I right. stopped checking, because they just started showing up on our videos whether we said yes well, or not. It used to be that if five community members uh, approved them, then they went through. Like, when I was, I, I had... My, that brief window where I had administrative power for the channel. Yeah. I, I like, approved, like, 200 videos worth of, yeah. of community comments. It's, a, it's I, actually kind of an annoying process. <laughs> it of, sort of, of is. It's, it's not as easy as it should be. Right. Which describes mostly all of YouTube. Yeah, when I get the chance, I'll def I can definitely go through and just, like, hit approve on a bunch yeah. of them. Um, but, yeah, if you if there is a way for community members to approve them... Um, Do that. Yeah, check them out if you happen to, to watch our videos regularly enough. See if you can approve them, because we might not even have to be involved. This next guy's name is Bar Wars. Cool. Which cool. is, uh, I assume, the prequel to Bar Rescue. That's why all of them need rescuing. The costume and character design is probably some of your best work. From Devil Kyle to Kyle Who Wants Pizza. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Very badly. So all credit goes to Allison on this one. I'm sure she included this so that <laughs> we can talk about it. So she can glow. How many times has the evil mask been used? Uh, pretty pretty often actually. Well, I made it's that so for useful. a movie that never happened, and then we it was a bad movie. I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> I, I, I really think because you had me. This was, like, this was the, the earliest project you had me do any writing for. Uh, yeah. I, I remember I went back to high school and I, I changed a bunch of lines. And looking back, it was the worst writing I think I've ever done in my entire. I hope I to never see that script again because <laughs> I, I ruined those lines. I still have it somewhere. We could do a They're, special where we read it off. I just part thought in. that I just thought that mask was just like reads. I thought no, I just lived on his desk forever. I made it for that movie, but I ripped it off of a... There's a board game that comes right. with that mask, and I don't remember which one it is. There's Somebody a board the game toss. that comes with that yeah. mask? Yeah, they're terrorists. They're, 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 they're players. Evil. Yeah, they're supposed to wear the mask as far as whatever role they're in. <laughs> anyway, we're getting really into this mask. The costumes did turn out really well, and it was all Allison. She put all of them together, um, and it really made the video, I think. Matt. <laughs> Matt. Yeah, Matt. <laughs> this isn't actually related to the video, but... I live in Michigan and just had a week off school because of the negative 30 degree wind chill. So I went back and watched all the Door Monster sketches. I was wondering, why all the older original sketches have a weird tinted or faded look? Because they're old and that's what old it's things look like. It's because Kyle's face nope. is broken. That's not why. Kyle you know, has a broken either. face. He does, he can't smell anything and he's colorblind. I'm sticking with videos age and they fade as they age on the uh, internet. I love Second Christmas when Kyle goes outside to like tantrum. Yeah. It looks like the... Apocalypse is happening. <laughs> it's so dark. Everything actually, is dark. The, 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 the sky on that one was completely blown out and you replaced it. I did, yeah. Yeah. And Allison came on and suddenly everything started looking correct. Yep. Honestly, like everybody's just in solid colors and I'm in that big stupid yellow shirt, <laughs> like with the yellow balloon. You can get away with just being like, yep. This is an artistic choice. <laughs> the Mostly Joey Show says... Hi, the Mostly Joey Show. Is this one of Ricky's good ideas? This feels like one of Ricky's good ideas. Which video? Psycho Makia. Psycho Makia. not my idea. Actually, no, yeah, that was actually completely, entirely me. I, and I came up with the, the moral dilemma. <laughs> you did. I, I texted him and I was like... Why'd you put that I, over there? I'm making a shoulder angel, shoulder demon thing, and I need some moral dilemma for him to be, like, stressing over, and you suggested the last piece of pizza thing. Which, incidentally, I got because Ethan literally did have this dilemma at Kirk's housewarming party. Sprocket creation says, wait, if everyone is watching videos here, then YouTube will stop recommending your channel. You'll have to advertise yourselves more aggressively if you wish to keep growing. You're right, I think. But also, I don't expect people to be watching videos exclusively on this site for quite a while. I think the deal is, to do your part in saving our country, watch it you, twice. You need yeah. to watch it once on YouTube yeah. and once on DoorMonsterHQ.com. I, I don't think that's unreasonable at all. From Cross Dice. Wait a minute, is Kyle actually that toned? When the hell did that happen? <laughs> this is actually pretty great. Um, the answer to that question is no. Um, Allison drew muscles on me. Really? No way. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was real. Is that makeup? It's just yeah, it's makeup. She just contoured really like you. Uh, I mean, it's like, magic. I'm, a, I'm all right, but like I don't have like the muscle lines yeah, actually, or anything. You I'm just said pretty... you have you have cartoon bulgy arm. But no, she she just used makeup and just put pistol. shadows in the right places, and it totally sold for that it's, one. It's shot. actually the same way your Spider-Man suit works. Air Terranian says. 
Here we see Kyle grapple with a deep philosophical quandary, pondering Fuck. if he may consume the final slice for his own pleasure or to act in a utilitarian manner and seek to promote the greatest happiness among the highest number of his fellow party attendees. This is indeed one of the most difficult questions of ethics an individual may likely face in their lifetime, and it is good to know that it is taken so seriously. With that said, it is not for the philosophers to tell Kyle what he can and can't do. So I taught a philosophy course, so I can handle this one. Here's the proper way to solve this. You Always get a, eat the pizza. You get a trolley track, right? And on one oh, side, there you we put go. a piece of pizza. <laughs> on the other side, you put five pieces of pizza. And then you eat all the pizza. Economics-wise, you always eat the pizza. Because there's not enough pizza, and scarcity exists in life. Like, morally, you always eat the pizza because it stops the next person from We're having the, the same problem. dilemma. CP Souffle Girl. I feel mildly disappointed that one of Kyle's personalities wasn't the extortionist hobo. I also just noticed that Evil Kyle is wearing mascara. Very goth. I like it. <laughs> I'm just talking about how much I love his guy Goth later. Kyle. But uh, the thing about the, the hobo is that when the hobo is in a sketch, that's all that the sketch is. That's true. He, the only sketch where it worked was um, uh, self-filling at EC2, I think. The only reference that I actually thought would fit into there well, and that I wasn't able to fit into the script itself, was um, uh, Solo Helplines. Because it was mm. roughly similar. Yeah. Well, I did manage to fit it into the whiteboard in the background when I walk in in the first shot, but nobody noticed. Actually, I noticed Allison didn't include any of the comments right. about Amazing Spider-Man 2 in this, but I was it was really fun watching some of the other people going like, someone kind of agrees with me. Thank you all for leaving your comments and questions, uh, and also thank you to everybody that came to the Nightwatch fan meet. It was probably really fun. We haven't yeah. gotten to it yet as of now, but by the time you're watching it, we have. And congrats to whoever won uh, this, this picture this wanted poster of Ricky's face, which will become relevant on Monday, uh, signed by the Door Monster crew, where the rest of us need to sign this. If you'd like your comments to be featured on next week's community comments, leave them on doormonster.tv on any videos from this week, and we will uh, we'll collect those, and, and it might end up on the next community comments. And until then, we'll see you next Friday. Bye.